Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you some easy fun fold ideas. So this one is one of my favorite fun folds and it's super easy. So I'm just showing you the pattern right here. Nine and three fourths by four and a quarter and you score at four and a quarter. And look how cute this is. And this is with the Regency Park suite that I used for these all these cards. So I love that, just super easy. And if you look right here, you can see where the fold is and just love that idea. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is a bigger piece. It's 11 inches by five and a half. So you score at two and a half and six and three fourths. And I usually always go from this side over the left side over to the right to score. So let me pull this out and see how that goes where the score lines are and it just folds back this way. Love the folder that goes with that Regent Park too. It's like a basket. So this is super simple fold. You're just using one piece of cardstock to get that fold. Okay, the next one, the third one I'm showing you is this card idea right here. And you go ahead and score the three inches and then at seven and a quarter like this. And it's your regular card size, five and a half by eight and a half. And you can see how that folds in and that folds and it makes it perfect card. They come together and look how cute that is. All right, the one I'm gonna demonstrate for you is our next idea. And this is done by Amy Combs and Mindy Clove, I saw a card that they did with this fold and I had to share it with you because it is really a cute idea. And this is folded right here. This is for actually a gift card and you can look how it comes up like that. I love this idea. So I went ahead and stamped one with the Regency Park Suite. So let me show you the one I came up with. It's right here and you open it up and it's got that little pouch for your gift card to go in. This is folded up so you attach it, tie it up so it stays closed. Here are the two templates to go ahead and make this card. It's four and a, four and a quarter by 11. So you're gonna score at three and a half and nine. That's your main card. And this is the insert that goes inside. You're gonna score at two and six and a half, and that's three and five eighths by seven, that piece. This is the one that goes inside the card. So let me show you, I'm gonna go ahead and put it together so you can show, see how it actually goes together. So we're gonna do three and a half first. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark that with my scoring, and then I'm gonna go all the way over to nine, and we're gonna go with that right there. Okay, so this is our card. So we have the upper part right here and the bottom part right there. It's always nice with the thick card stock to go ahead and use your bone folder. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead on, on these pieces, I just did a smaller version of it for the edging for this. Oops, wrong one. I do have the card stock in between of that, you can decide to if you want the cardstock to be there too. That's great too. So I'm just showing you really how to put it together. So let me go ahead and do the white piece. Okay, we have that score. Let's get the template out for the white piece too. And we have two inches. Score and then six and a half. I'm gonna to have to extend this out because it will be easier for me to see it. Six and a half, and it gives it that little lip. Okay, now I'm gonna fold this. This is gonna be the edge right here where the actual gift card goes inside. And this is going opposite that way. So this is going up, now this is gonna go down. So it's kind of like a Z effect right here with your, um, the way your paper goes. So let me bring this in. Remember, this is the bottom piece, and this is the top. Now I wanna put adhesive right here 
on this folded down part. And I want to go ahead and adhere it just, let me move this up so you guys can see. I just want to see how this, you have this um, edge right here. I just want to put it right above that edge, that little fold, so it fits in that crease right there. Then I'm going to flip this down, and this is going to be tied down by a ribbon, or you could put adhesive right here. Just make sure you don't put the adhesive all the way across. You just want it like in the edges right there. So then I'm going to close this and it slides down. And there you've got your idea for the gift card, the fun fold, and it comes up like that. Let me show you the one that's actually stamped. We went ahead and put some DSP on the inside too. See how that comes up like that? Fun, it creates that motion. Hope you've enjoyed seeing these card ideas with the new Easy Fun Folds. There will be more details on our blog post, so if you need more instructions on how to do these Easy Folds, go to stampinjail.com and you'll be able to see that those ideas. Also, remember that any of these products that I'm using, if you click the link below, you'll see all the details for those. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.